Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been talking about assessing God's thoughts. And we're talking about this in the area of... Uh, as, let me just see how the Lord will help us finish this thing about marriage. Because I, I know God's peace needs to be restored in your home, in your marriage. If things are not working well right now, I'm giving you the answer. It's very simple. And let me tell you this truth. It's not about both of you sitting down, okay, uh, to settle this matter, two of us have to sit down now and tell ourselves the truth. Okay, now, um, we have to start following God's thoughts. Hey, 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 you, you that is listening to me right now, you take that decision yourself. See, that I'm going to see to it that my ways are pleasing to the Lord. Now, let me tell you this. It doesn't matter what has happened. It doesn't matter who did what. If you make up your mind, first of all, that I want to please the Lord with my life. And I want to please the Lord in my marriage. Now, marriages have broken up. Even marriages of believers, Christian marriage. And they say, oh, we, we had irreconcilable differences. That's a big lie from the devil. You refuse to change. That's your problem. No, it doesn't matter who you are. If you lost your marriage, and let me tell you this thing. Now, I find it hard to believe anyone who would tell me that the Lord commanded him to end his marriage. See, see why, why would you say that? I'll tell you the reason. God himself said, what God have joined together, let no man put asunder, right? Okay, now what does that mean? The responsibility to put asunder is out of any man's hand. Now, it means if you put forth your hand to put asunder, you are going to incur the judgment of the Lord. So what are you talking about? Oh yeah, so you, you can tell me, okay, I, I, I'm divorcing my wife or I'm divorcing my husband. Because, now I know there are issues. I understand perfectly. See, I'm not, I'm not saying this. Like, um, people don't really have real issues. You know, there are people who lied to get married. You understand what I'm talking about? You know, when you find yourself in situation like, situations like that, what do you do? Now, it's very simple. See, seek the mind of the Lord. Seek the mind of the Lord. The, the, the reason why it's important you seek the mind of the Lord is because anything you are sure the Lord instructs you to do, He takes full responsibility for it. I will never forget, you know, when my wife and I got married and we were on our honeymoon. And then we were in this um, shop. We went to Dubai, actually. We were in this shop late in the night. And that, I think that was the last night before we came back. And then... I had noticed because we needed to take the train back to where we're staying. So I had noticed that the time for the train is, is almost near. And I began to tell my wife, look, we need to leave now. We need to leave now. And she wasn't happy about it because th there was something she really wanted to get. We had seen it before. So we had planned, okay, on our way out. So I'm like, look, we don't have that time anymore. We need to go. You know? So she had to obey me, but she wasn't happy about it. So we got into the train and, and it just happened that as we're approaching the train station, the train, the last train was just coming. And so we got into the train and throughout that train, she wasn't talking to me. You know, she was just sad and, and, and upset, you know. I tried to talk to her, she refused to listen to me. Then I turned to the Lord. See, that's what we have. I turned to the Lord and I said, Lord, I need your help right now. How do I handle this situation? And as we were approaching our train station where we were going to stop, we came out of the train. I heard the Lord. Now, normally, when we get to that train station, we turn left to where we are going. See? That's our way to go. So we just came out. We just come out and then we turn left. But as we came out of the train, I heard the Lord say to me, turn right. And I told her, I said, let's go this way. And she was like, where are we going? I said, just follow me. I didn't even know where we were going to. <laughs> so she followed me. And we walked a few meters down. And there was this shop that was open. I think that was the only shop that was open in that train station that night. And 
and we're just passing the shop. And for some reason, I looked into the shop and I saw the exact pair of shoes that my wife had seen in the other shop, in the mall. And I said, I turned to her, I said, is this not the shoe? And she looked at it. We got into the shop. She brought, told them to bring in and she looked, it was the same pair of shoes, praise God. And, and, and we just had fun in that place. The, 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 the whole atmosphere changed, everything disappeared. Now, what am I saying? The word of the Lord came. Now, that's because I refused to join that you know, atmosphere of, of, of getting upset. You say, what is it? Is it because of a shoe? You won't talk to me? You know, that's how you would act, see? So because of a shoe, you don't want to talk to me. What, you know? I'm not going to join in that. But then it doesn't mean I don't recognize that there is a situation that has to be dealt with. Now, how do I deal with it? If my way is going to please the Lord, he will cause even my enemy. Now, if he's going to cause my enemy to be at peace with me, how much more my wife? Praise God. Do you understand what I'm saying to you now? So what did I do? I sought a way to get into something that would please God. And what did I do? Ask the Lord, Lord, how do I handle this? And then his word came to me. The moment his word came to me, I accepted it. He said, turn right. I turned right. And before you know what's happening, the whole atmosphere had changed. We got, she had need were met. The joy was restored. Everything. And I learned something that day. See? Take everything to the Lord. And that's the principle behind it. Get your way to please the Lord. He will heal every broken thing that have ever existed. Praise God. I've got to stop here today. Until tomorrow, have the best day ever. Bye-bye.